Hello, history enthusiast. Welcome to this fascinating exploration of the Book of Enoch, an ancient text that dared to venture where others feared. This book, full of prophetic visions, celestial revelations and controversies, was omitted from the canonical Bible, but its allure remains undiminished. In our journey into this mysterious world of divine secrets, we will delve deep into the Book of Enoch, examining its origins, its content, and its enduring legacy in both religious and popular culture. So strap in as we embark on an enthralling adventure through time and space to uncover the truth about this fascinating piece of literature. Enoch was a biblical figure who appears in the Hebrew Bible, specifically in the book of Genesis. According to the text, he was the son of Jared and the father of Methuselah, making him the great-grandfather of Noah. Enoch is mentioned in Genesis 5, 21, 24, which states that he lived for 365 years before being taken up to heaven without dying. The book of Enoch claims that he was given special knowledge by God and wrote down his experiences in a series of books that were later compiled into one volume. These books are believed to have been written between the 4th and 1st centuries BC, making them some of the oldest texts in the Jewish canon. Enoch's story is also mentioned in the New Testament, specifically in the book of Jude and the epistle of Barnabas. In Jude 1 14, 15, the author quotes a passage from the book of Enoch about the fallen angels who came down to earth and took human wives, leading to a race of giants known as Nephilim. The epistle of Barnabas also references Enoch's prophecies about the coming of the Messiah. Overall, Enoch is a fascinating figure in both Jewish and Christian traditions, with his writings continuing to inspire scholars and believers alike. Now that we've looked at who Enoch was, let's dive into the content of his book. The Book of Enoch is divided into five main sections, each with its own unique theme and message. These sections are the Book of Watchers, chapters 1, 36. This section focuses on the story of the fallen angels who came down to earth and took human wives, leading to a race of giants known as Nephilim. It also describes the punishment that these angels received from God for their transgressions. The Book of Parables, chapters 37 to 71. This section contains several prophetic visions about the end times and the coming of the Messiah. It also includes a detailed description of the heavenly realms and the hierarchy of angels that reside there. The Astronomical Book, chapters 72, 82. This section provides a detailed explanation of the movement of celestial bodies, such as the sun, moon, and stars, and how they relate to the cycles of creation. The Dream Visions, chapters 83, 90. This section contains two prophetic visions that Enoch receives in a dream, one about the rise of a tyrant king who will oppress the people of Israel, and another about the resurrection of the dead and the judgment of humanity. The Epistle of Enoch, chapters 91, 107. This section contains a series of letters that Enoch writes to his descendants, providing them with wisdom and guidance for living a righteous life. Overall, the content of the Book of Enoch is diverse and multifaceted, covering a wide range of topics from creation myths to apocalyptic visions. Its stories and prophecies continue to captivate readers and inspire scholars to this day. Now that we've explored the content of the book, let's take a look at its history in Jewish and Christian traditions. The Book of Enoch was widely read and studied in both Jewish and Christian communities until around the 4th century AD, when it was rejected by the emerging Catholic Church. However, it continued to be popular among certain sects of Christianity, such as the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, which still considers it part of its canon. In Jewish traditions, the Book of Enoch was considered a legitimate source of wisdom and knowledge for centuries. It was quoted and referenced by various rabbis and scholars, including the famous Talmudist Maimonides. However, as Christianity became more dominant in Europe and the Middle East, the book fell out of favor among Jewish scholars and was largely forgotten until its recent rediscovery in modern times. In Christian traditions, the Book of Enoch has had a more complex history. While it was initially embraced by early Christian communities as an important source of apocalyptic visions and prophetic insights, 
It was eventually rejected by the Catholic Church in the 4th century AD. This rejection was largely due to political reasons, as the Church sought to establish its own canonical texts and distance itself from the more mystical and speculative writings of earlier Christianity. Despite its rejection by the Catholic Church, the Book of Enoch continued to be popular among certain sects of Christianity, such as the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, which still considers it part of its canon. It has also been referenced in several works of Christian literature, including the Left Behind series, which uses Enoch's prophecies about the end times as a central plot element. Overall, the Book of Enoch has had a complex and multifaceted history within both Jewish and Christian traditions. Its rejection by the Catholic Church in the 4th century AD has not stopped it from continuing to inspire scholars and believers alike, with its themes and ideas continuing to resonate with modern audiences. In recent years, there has been a renewed interest in the Book of Enoch, with scholars and believers alike examining its content and trying to uncover its secrets. In recent years, there has been a renewed interest in the Book of Enoch, with scholars and believers alike examining its content and trying to uncover its secrets. Some have speculated that it contains hidden knowledge about the origins of humanity and the nature of God, while others see it as a valuable historical document that sheds light on the beliefs and practices of ancient peoples. One reason for this renewed interest is the rise of alternative religious movements and spiritualities, such as New Age Christianity and Gnosticism, which have embraced the Book of Enoch as an important source of wisdom and knowledge. These movements often view the book's stories and prophecies as evidence of a hidden or esoteric truth that has been suppressed by mainstream religion. Another reason for the book's popularity is its influence on popular culture. The Left Behind series, which uses Enoch's prophecies about the end times as a central plot element, has sold millions of copies and spawned several movie adaptations. The book has also been referenced in movies like The Matrix and Prometheus, suggesting that its themes and ideas continue to resonate with modern audiences. Overall, the Book of Enoch is experiencing a resurgence in popularity in modern times, as people seek out alternative sources of spiritual wisdom and inspiration. Its stories and prophecies continue to captivate readers and inspire scholars to this day. Some people have speculated that the Book of Enoch contains information about extraterrestrial beings, such as the fallen angels mentioned earlier. This theory is based on a passage in chapter 15 of the book, which describes how the Watchers came down to Earth and saw the daughters of men and took them as wives. According to this theory, the fallen angels could be seen as extraterrestrial beings who visited Earth and interacted with humans in ancient times. This idea has led to theories about UFO sightings and alien abductions, with some suggesting that these phenomena are connected to the ancient writings of Enoch. Others have speculated that the Book of Enoch contains information about otherworldly entities or dimensions, such as the celestial realms described in Chapter 72, 82. These theories suggest that the book's stories and prophecies are evidence of a hidden reality beyond our own, which can only be accessed through spiritual practice or mystical experience. Overall, the Book of Enoch continues to inspire speculation and debate about the nature of extraterrestrial life and the mysteries of the universe. Its themes and ideas continue to resonate with people who seek out alternative sources of spiritual wisdom and inspiration. The Book of Enoch has also been featured in several works of fiction and media, as you know from earlier, in the Left Behind series, which uses Enoch's prophecies about the end times as a central plot element. As you know, the book has been referenced in The Matrix and Prometheus, suggesting that its themes and ideas continue to resonate with modern audiences. In the Left Behind series, the protagonist John Hagee discovers a copy of the Book of Enoch while researching biblical prophecies about the end times. He becomes obsessed with deciphering its cryptic messages and uncovering its secrets, eventually leading him to join a group of Christian fundamentalists who are preparing for the apocalypse. In The Matrix, the character Morpheus refers to the Book of Enoch when discussing the nature of reality and the existence of a hidden world beyond our own. 
He suggests that the books, stories, and prophecies provide insight into the true nature of the universe and the forces that govern it. Overall, the Book of Enoch has had a significant impact on popular culture in recent years, with its themes and ideas continuing to inspire artists and writers alike. Its stories and prophecies continue to captivate audiences and spark debate about the mysteries of the universe. As we hover on the edge of the known and the unexplored, let's dive deeper into the clandestine wisdom that the Book of Enoch encompasses. This Book of Enoch uncovers universal truths encrypted in narratives of angels and divine. It provides contentious doctrines, which led to its eviction from the biblical canon, yet incited enduring intrigue. The captivating narratives within the Book of Enoch make it an engaging reading escapade, provoking exploration and doubt. So, persist in your exploration, continue questioning, and bear in mind the pursuit of enlightenment is an expedition, not a terminus. In conclusion, the Book of Enoch is a fascinating and enigmatic text that has captured the imaginations of people for centuries. Its stories and prophecies have inspired countless works of art, literature, and film, and its themes continue to resonate with us today. Whether you view it as a historical document, a work of fiction, or something in between, there's no denying that the Book of Enoch is a unique and intriguing piece of ancient literature. That's all for today's video. We will be breaking each part of the book into separate videos over the course of the next several months. If you found this information interesting, be sure to check out our other videos on religious texts and mysteries. And don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with all our latest content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.